Hey all, here are OS Reviews. You're watching our hands-on review of the iWanFit i6 HRC. The C stands for color, and this is the first color-based fitness tracker from this relatively new Chinese OEM. We've seen some of their past devices, and we came away feeling rather impressed with the ultra-budget price but decent performance that they were being offered at. The last one also had a touchscreen interface, which was slightly easier to use than just a small dot or button that you have to tap on usually on a tracker to cycle between different features. On here it's a larger touchscreen panel that you can easily swipe through and reminds us of more expensive trackers on the market. This one sells for around $30 to $40, so not too expensive either. It does sync using Bluetooth, shows notifications such as text messages, SMS, as well as uh, tweets and Facebook messages as they come along from your phone. And it also has a decent battery performance that's rated at around a week before you need to recharge it again. And you can find this directly on Amazon, I believe also in a number of different colors in the future. So in the box, we have just a quick start guide from iWanFit. It's actually kind of dense, but tells you how to use it in multiple languages and access all of the various menus and screens. And we have two bands included, one purple, one black, that has been pre-attached onto the smart module. And you can remove this and then change it to the purple one if you want a different look. The band itself is made out of a synthetic rubber material and has a slight texture to it that makes it feel slightly more durable. On the side here, we see some instructions for the touchscreen, where we can tap on it for three seconds to wake it up and then swipe left and right to access the various screens. The screen is slightly curved, as you can see here, which makes it a bit more ergonomic for the swipe motions that you'll want to be performing using it. The back here features the heart rate monitor, just like on the regular i6 that we checked out that had a black and white screen a few months ago, uh, this one does charge simply using USB. So when you remove it from the silicone strap, which you have to when the battery dies, you just plug this directly into a computer or onto a charger to quickly juice it up in under one hour. It's pretty quick to charge, but again, I'm not the biggest fan of this type of design. I do wish that they would have gone with Pogo contact pins instead, just because you don't have to remove it from the band every single time to charge it up. Regardless, it gives you a bit more of customization, again, in, in terms of future accessories, and the band itself is pretty comfortable in our quick testing with it so far. The center module actually weighs exactly the same as the black and white or the regular i6 HR, and the only thing that's different really here is that color display, which actually is fairly vibrant. It still is the OLED panel, uh, which means that the contrast ex is extremely punchy, the black is very deep, and again, very impressive on such a low-cost tracker. It shows your time and date information along with the battery status, basic tools such as the connection status and temperature. I can then swipe both vertically or horizontally to access other features like the heart rate, number of steps taken, calories burned, distance walked, and then going back onto this main page. So the interface itself is very clean, and again, the colors and the icons are very vibrant. Swiping up and down gives me access to taking a look at messages located on my phone. Swiping up, there's also a training screen that you can use to more precisely know how many calories you've burned for running, biking, badminton, basketball, soccer, ping pong, tennis, as well as going back to jogging. So if I tapped on one of these modes, for instance, I'll still be able to see the time on the very top, but it will also be showing my continuous heart rate information, how long I've been working out, in addition swiping down to take a look at my calories burned during that duration. So this is actually a pretty interesting uh, layout that's easier to read. A heart rate measurement takes roughly 20 seconds to complete and it's continuous, so it jumps around as you are performing an, an activity, for instance, if you want to quickly glance at this screen, which is pretty cool. And again, the contrast on this display is excellent. I have another AMOLED panel on the uh, Meizu Pro 7, and you can see that it has a very similar kind of quality. So before we jump into the software on the phone and uh, take a closer look at its performance and accuracy, uh, here's a quick size comparison with a different tracker. First of all, in terms of wearing it, it actually remains fairly comfortable on my wrist. It's very lightweight because it is made entirely out of plastic. This is the Amazfit BIP, which is again a very low cost uh, watch, and I would say that overall the build quality is roughly the same. Again, both of these are made out of plastic. The BIP does have have some more advanced features such as the ability to customize watch faces as well as GPS built on in that this one lacks but it's also uh, half the price of uh, Xiaomi's offering. Still I would say that iWanFit is targeting other low-cost trackers on the market notably ones designed by Xiaomi such as the Band 2 uh, among others maybe produced by Garmin or Misfit and in that sense I think that they have a pretty good overall pricing strategy. The app which is called iWanFit is actually pretty popular in the Play Store and it looks like it's been already downloaded over a hundred thousand times so it seems like sales for this is 
actually pretty good. Um, in terms of the interface, it's pretty colorful and animated, almost uh, slightly more geared for younger audiences and crowds. Um, there is a pro edition of the app that's geared for the uh, i6 Pro only uh, that works pretty well and it has a reamped interface, but it doesn't work quite as well with the other bands like the HR version. From here, you can see that binding and connecting is pretty simple. It gives us our status on the top. So right now we're connected using Bluetooth. The battery is indicated, uh, you know, time since our last syncing, and we can tap on this to sync it again. There's also a health index score that tells us, you know, how much we've moved and how much more we should move based on our performance so far. I can set a goal and then see if I can burn that many calories, walk this many steps, and uh, as well sleep this many hours per day. And the sleep tracking is actually pretty accurate compared to the Mi Band 2 Amazfit uh, Arc as well as the Lenovo um, and the Huawei bands that I've tried out recently. They seem to have pretty comparable results and again it's nice that you can simply fall asleep without having to worry about tapping on it to go into a specific mode, very similar to the Misfit Flash in that uh, it's simple and it works. Uh, it will track your light versus deep sleep and then tell you how many hours of sleep you've reached. You can also set alarms and when the time uh, is ready, it's simply going to vibrate to try and wake you up in the morning. Same thing with notifications, it can vibrate whenever you get a new text message or tweet and you can program that. I can do a manual kind of recording of heart rate just by tapping on this and it tells me kind of the zone that I'm in as well as uh, you know, what's the preferable kind of zone is green versus red is uh, you know too fast, things like that. It's going to record that uh, down below, but it's a pretty simple app. There is no kind of uh, intelligent AI assistant. There's no way of uh, analyzing your data beyond what they give you. So uh, you can tell if your goals are met, but it's not going to be comparing your data to anyone else and tell you ways to improve your lifestyle or to improve your fitness uh, activities. So it's a presenter information very well, but again, it's a very simple and straightforward and not as many extras as maybe something by Garmin, by Misfit, or a more expensive option on the market. A quick correction, there are watch faces that you can customize on this band, just like on the original I Want Fit. You can go under settings and tap on this menu here, and this is one that we have right now, but I can swipe between uh, the panels here to have access to different designs. So if I like this one, for instance, I can long hold and this is what it looks like. Basically, it's visualizing my activity in this ring. So I have 17 steps right now, and this is my calories burned. I can set a daily goal, and once the goal is complete, the cycle will turn green all the way around. So that's our hands-on quick review of the iWanFit i6 HRC. Overall, I think it's a good budget fitness tracker, but it doesn't pose a significant upgrade over the original i6 HR, which, although has a monochrome screen, has a the same feature set built in with the same software as well as customization for different watch faces that we saw already. That one is actually slightly less, less expensive as well and I think for the general user it's enough. Having the color screen is pretty elegant to look at and it's fun uh, but as far as functionality is concerned, reading text, taking a look at numeric numbers, reading notifications, we can really do the same thing with a black and white display. But we are fans of the i6 HRC as well considering it's a very budget conscious fitness tracker that comes combines a touchscreen with a color OLED uh, display, which is again pretty rare at this price point. So thanks for watching this video here at OS Reviews. This has been the iWanFit i6 HRC Budget Fitness Tracker.